Sunflower Seed to Seed The scientific name of sunflower is Helianthus annus. It belongs to the family Astraceae. Duration for variety 85 to 90 days, hybrid 90 to 95 days. Cross pollinated due to protrandrus by honeybees. The first step involved is field preparation. It includes leveling, ploughing, formation of ridges and furrows. Leveling the land is done with the help of tractors. Sunflower grows well on alkaline soil at pH 6.5 to 8.0. Salinity favors plant growth and increase in oil content of seeds. Next is deep ploughing, which is done once or twice to break up the impacted layers of soil and allow unrestricted root development, allowing easy germination, weed and pest control. It is done with the help of tractors. Ridges and furrows of 6 meter in length is made. Use bunt farmers or ridge plough to economize. Form irrigation channels across and ridges according to the topography of the field. Fertilizer application. Fertilizers like nitrogen, superphosphate and potassium are applied in the ratio of 60 is to 30 is to 30. Fertilizers are applied once prior to sowing and top dressed at vegetative stage. Next is sowing. After sowing, irrigation should be done immediately. Seed rate for varieties 6 kg per hectare. For hybrid, 4 kg per hectare. The required spacing for hybrids is 60 cm by 30 cm. For varieties, 45 cm by 30 cm. Seeds should normally be planted 3 to 8 cm deep along the furrows. Irrigation is given after sowing, 3rd day after sowing, 20th day after sowing and early bud development twice during flowering and at maturity stage. Flowering period is considered as critical. For irrigated crop, 300 to 500 mm of added water is required. Germination 85 to 90 percent of all the seeds emerges within 5 days. The seed bed temperature should be 25 to 30 degrees Celsius and the screw of the seed stem hypocotyl emerges out. It tightens and forms the stem. This is the 10 day old seedling grown on Furrows. Important step is thinning. Thinning out seedling, leaving one healthy and vigorous seedling in each hole on the 10th day after sowing. The next important stage is vegetative stage. Copor is a variety sown. Branching is undesirable since it affects the main head. 30 days old crop. The stem is robust green, bearing rough hairs. The plant grows rapidly when fully grown, height reaches to 3 meter. The next important step is weed management. Application of fluke chloralin at 2.0 liter per hectare on 5th day after sowing and 30 to 35 days after sowing, which is followed by hand weeding or using agricultural implements like hoe and spade on 15th and 30th day after sowing to remove the weeds. The major parasite of sunflower is Orobanchi species. It causes yield loss up to 20%. Next is top dressing. 50% of nitrogen potassium fertilizers are applied at split doses during vegetative stage to promote the growth of the crop. Reproductive stage or flowering period. It is considered as critical period for irrigation. The stem elongates until the inflorescence emerges. Inflorescence is capitulum, born terminally on main stem. Head size is 10 to 30 cm in diameter. Pollination. Sunflower is an open cross-pollinated crop with bees. Usually the main agents to ensure high seed set 
the pollens get stick to the body of the insects and move as the insects move to the other flower. Keeping beehives at the rate of 5 per hectare improves seed setting. Maturity stage or harvesting stage. Irrigation has to be given. The seed set as a result of pollination. The flower heads cannot bear the weight of the seeds, so they bend down. This is an maturity index. The loss due to bird damage is prevented by netting the field. Netting is done to maintain the purity of the variety zone and to prevent the bird damage. The fruit is commonly called as seed or aki. Seed color ranges from black with white stripe or gray with white stripe. Light colored seeds have high oil content. Harvesting The flower heads are cut with the sickles and dropped in a bag. Harvesting is done at 90th day of planting. Evenness of growth, ripening and moderate height are essential requirements for harvesting. The heads are cut from the plants and the stem is lobbed about 1 meter from the ground. Seeds are ready to harvest when back of the flower head turned yellow or brown. If done lately, seeds are subjected to severe bird damage. The flower heads after harvest are taken to an another area for drying and threshing. Next is head drying. Immediately after harvest, heads are dried in sun for 3 days. Spread the heads in a thin layer to reduce the moisture content. Next is threshing manually. It's just beating the harvested flower heads with the stick to obtain the seeds. Threshing is done usually by mechanical thresher in case of high yield. In case of low yield, only by manual threshing. Threshed sunflower heads are usually burnt or ploughed in after harvest. The seeds are dried to less than 10% moisture content or oil quality will suffer. The yield obtained is 1800 kg per hectare.